Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather. This is for the sign of Pisces. This is for October 2019. This is for your sun, moon, and rising. Uh, some of these messages may or may not resonate. If not, check out your other signs. All right, so I meditated over the cards and for your messages, as far as from my spirit guides, I received the message of stand your ground um, and strength. So the first thing that popped in my mind, in my mind's eye was the nine of wands. So I feel like with some of you Pisces out there, you've really been going through it. You know, um, some of you may feel like you want to give up on a certain situation, but you're literally right there. You're right there. There's, I really, I really feel that, you know, spirit is saying, trust spirit is spirit is really going to guide you through this um so the first card is trust let go and ask your angels so spirit is right there with you they're letting me know right now that you know spirit is there with you they're going to guide you and you know really trusting in the process in the universe right now uh -oh, is really going to help you know, come to that completion, come go from that nine of wands energy of having to stand your ground and, you know, feeling like the wounded warrior really pushing through and coming through. And, you know, after nine is 10 and after 10 is a new beginning. Just know that spirit wouldn't put you anything through, um, you know, anything that you couldn't handle. So I definitely see I definitely see October being a, a turning point in regards to this energy of just, you know, constantly defending yourself, having to stand up for yourself. You know, it gets to the point where you're just exhausted. You're just like, geez, like, when is this going to end? <laughs> All right. So for the bottom of the deck, for the overall energy we have the King of Pentacles. We have the tower, ace of wands, and the nine of swords. You know, so this recent energy, you know, you might have been losing sleep over something. Something may have been causing some type of anxiety. Um, maybe you're ready to move forward. Things aren't happening as fast as you want them to happen. You're, you're, you know, maybe you're looking for that new passionate beginning and you're just like, Jesus, where is it? <laughs> you know? Um, but like I said, you're right at that nine, nine of wands, uh, point, point right now. Like you're really like one wand away. Some of you may have had a tower moment, maybe some type of sudden change and it just kind of threw you off or, you know, knocked off your footing. But with October, with this king of pentacles, I mean, this is solid, grounded, um, the king it could be male or female, which this represents you and your energy. It's a very grounded energy. You know, when you're grounded, you can't be stressed. You can't lose, you know, sleep or stop eating or neglect yourself. I mean, this king, he knows who he is. He's comfortable with himself. He listens to his intuition. He knows when to let go. He knows when to trust he or she and knows when to ask his or her angels, hey, I need some help. I'm about to lose it, right? All right, so let's see what we got going on. So for, for the first part of October, we have the Fool and we have the Page of Cups. So with the Page of Cups energy, it's some type of you know, messenger coming in. But with the Page of Cups, you can kind of tell like he holds his his messages close to his chest, right? He's just not screaming it like, hey, 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 look, look at this, look at this, you know? Um, so expect some type of messages to come in in October, you know? And I'm really feeling like it's gonna be in the beginning half if between the first and the 15th. And some type of news about a new beginning. You know, this could be a new job. This could be a new relationship. This could be a new way of thinking, but it's definitely gonna be something 
that is new, you know, something, you know, the fool represents a beginning and an ending um, all at the same time, very smooth transition. So very, very beautiful energy. And then for the middle of the month, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe in the beginning of the month, you're just hearing of the news. You know, maybe it's the beginning, maybe it's the interview stage, maybe it's the courting stage or the dating stage, because Cups is about emotions, you know. Um, but come mid-month, you know, it, it speaks about a financial upgrade, you know. With the Queen of Pentacles, she has a very grounded energy as well, you know? So you're really gonna be moving out of that energy of stress and anxiety of, you know, not being grounded. I really feel like the beginning of October, you know, your main focus is gonna be on letting go and trusting, right? Um, and then the end of the month, you have the Three of Swords and you have the Death card. So with this combination, um, you know, some of you could have suffered with heartbreak or pain or sorrow or like a hard time. But I feel like with a lot of you, this is about a timekeeper. You know, this could be about three days, three weeks, three months of charm, you know, or I'm sorry, three days, three weeks or third times the charm. Um, with this with this card right here, with this death energy, this is some type of transformation or some type of ending. You know, whatever offer that is brought in is going to change your life. You know, things are never going to go back the same. So this is a very beautiful energy, transitioning energy. So you can move on with your new beginning, right? So whenever you find yourself in a place where you are stressed or you're you are overwhelmed or you feel like giving up make sure you ask your angels ask your angels for signs ask them for very specific signs hey spirit can you please send me a white feather or a blue feather or a penny let me know you're around me let me know you're guiding me you know but you have a, a responsibility too you have to let go let go what doesn't serve your highest good trust in the process trust in the universe so if you would like to schedule a personal reading with me, all of my contact information is listed below. I hope that your October is beautiful as your reading has turned out. Please let me know below in the comments how you know these messages resonate. I would really love to hear back. Alrighty, take care.